Google again. Um, I bought this incubator online. I bought it off eBay. Uh, couldn't find any name on it. All it says incubator made in China. Uh, I've gone ahead and unpacked it, turned it on, but for some reason it's not working, which I will explain later. Uh, I did some search on YouTube to find any useful video about it. There is tons of video in Spanish or some Asian languages, but uh, nothing in English that was helpful to me. Uh, so let's go see what comes in a package and why this one is faulty. Uh, I'm not saying all incubators in this brand are, are faulty. Just this one is not working for some reason. We will go through it together. Uh, I have unpacked it. It's sitting here. So it does come with a drinker, with a feeder, very small one, but comes in handy when you're hatching. It comes with a DC 12 volt cable if you want to use a battery to run your incubator. It comes with this, which can be connected here and attached to a battery. With this container to add water to your incubator. And that's all. So let's uh, look inside of it. So the lid comes off, and there is a plug here. I have plugged it already. Uh, it plugs the motor to the uh, to the power. That's your lid, all your fan and uh, heaters on, on the lid. The bottom side is just a container plus the rotating gears. So it comes with seven of these rollers. I've added water already, so. I'm trying to not tip it over. So this one came with seven of these rollers. It's supposed to fit 36 chicken eggs on it. Uh, that gear sits on the yellow one. And then this part gets plugged to the power, which uh, is attached to the lid. The first thing is this manual. It's a very poor manual. Doesn't have much info in it and no picture, only four pages. Plus that one. This is all you have. Then you're gonna plug this one to this plug here. Uh, that one is attached to the motor that runs that uh, yellow gear, as we saw. Okay, so... Like, that one is plugged. Close that for now. There is two holes over here. You can see, you can add water from here. Either of them, or you can add it from the top. And that's the motor that runs that yellow gear. So I'm not gonna remove this uh, uh, Yonolit container. It just gives extra protection and easier to control the temperature. 
So let's plug it in together, then we will find out what, what's wrong with it. All right, it's set up, uh, plugged it, turn it on. So let's go through the bottoms. Uh, it's gonna start alarming. You just press minus, it is starts alarm. So you can say it says chicken, duck, goose, and so on. So if you have just chicken eggs in it, uh, you can put it on chicken, it automatically adjusts its temperature and days and uh, humidity. Or you can use the constant temperature, which you can adjust the temperature. If you put it on chicken or any other mode, you won't be able to change the temperature. The only way to do it is to put it the constant one. So it is here. On the manual, it is recommended to put it on 37.7. By pressing set, which is already set there. Then I'll press it again. It asks you what humidity do you want. You want it on 60. So we don't change that. We just let it sit, okay? Or if you want to change the mode, you just hold the mode for four seconds, it goes to next. It's on chicken, duck, goose, pigeon, constant temperature, okay? So you can give it a range, like what's the highest limit it can go, what's the lowest, when it alarms. And if you open the booklet or manual, it tells you, for example, you go to P1, it's supposed to be 38.8, and so on. So in order to get to that, hold the set and plus bottom together. Okay, it brings you to P1. You can either increase it, we put it on 38.8 as it says, yeah? Press set goes to P2, 37.7, or this is good, and it, I delayed a bit, but yeah, you can adjust pretty much everything from here. So as you saw, the maximum temperature that it can reach is 37.8, but uh, what I've observed before, it goes up to 46, which is not acceptable. You can hear my little son in the background. The good things about this is that torch over here, you can actually use it to see if your uh, your eggs are improving. They're actually fertile or no. That's what I really like about it. So as you can see, it's going higher. Uh, 41.9. Uh, it has gone up to 46. I purchased this thermometer just to calibrate this machine. So it is showing here 20.4, 42.0. We just let it sit for let's say half an hour. And then we can calibrate the temperature, see if it works. I've contacted the seller already, explained that I'm going to return the machine, but they've asked me to send them a video. So see, either I'm going to return this machine or fix it if I could calibrate it and put some eggs in it. Okay, I'm going to calibrate it based on what I have at the moment. Uh, 42.7. If you want to bring to the temperature calibration, you need to go to F3. So we hold set and plus together. It's on P1, we go to F3. F1, 2, 42. So we're going to decrease it to, to what we have here. 21.6. Mm, it does not let me go lower. Okay, we'll let it be. We try again later as it goes higher. So what I did, I turned off the machine and turned it back on. I see the temperature stays 
in the calibrated mode doesn't go up again so what I have here 26.1 38.9 see if it allows me to calibrate it again even though it's been done once we go to F3 No, it does not allow to go any lower, 38.8, it's staying there, the actual temperature of the machine is 26.8. Yeah, if you have the same machine, just let me know if yours is working well or you have the same issues or any different issues. I'm doing the video and these two decided to have some fun. Okay, so... Uh, this is the original temperature I received to the um, factory setting. It's sitting on 43. And the actual temperature inside the incubator is 21. So uh, I checked this thermometer just now by in the fridge. It, it works perfectly. So 43 to 21. There is 22 degree difference between the actual temperature to what it shows here. I can lower it down, I think maximum by, by 10 degrees. Let's do it together. F3. Let's see how far it goes. Yep, so it went 10 degree lower. And that's it. I cannot fix it any more than that. Okay, it is showing 33 here. The actual temperature is 21. This incubator is definitely faulty and I'm gonna return it. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.